to you, Maury Gear. So as promised, I am continuing my partnership with the National Honey Board during National Honey Month. And to celebrate, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my no-bake honey oat milk energy bites. These are delicious. All right, you guys, so whenever I make something for myself or for my kids, I'm always looking for wholesome ingredients. And that's what this recipe is packed with. Starting with honey. This honey, it's wholesome, it's natural. And I have some almond butter, I have some pistachios and some chia seeds. So let's just get started with this already. All right, so in front of me, I have a food processor and that's all you're gonna need for this recipe. It is really easy. I'm just gonna be dumping all of my ingredients in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some rolled oats my food processor, just like that. There we go. I'm gonna add some meat jerk. There we go. Some pistachios. Some dates to add some sweetness to this, right? I'm gonna add some chia seeds. There we go. And then I'm just gonna give this a nice pulse. What I'm looking for is for all of these ingredients to kind of get nice and fine. There we go. So now I'm gonna add my honey. Look at that, that looks great. Yummy. Almond butter. There we go. Okay. And then orange marmalade. And then I'm gonna give this a nice pulse. Okay, so this is looking good. So yeah, it's sticking together a little more. There we go. All right. So now I'm just gonna take all of this out. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna put it into this bowl here, this mixing bowl. And you know, they don't call these energy bites for no reason because you have so many ingredients in here that's just gonna give you loads of energy like the nuts, the oats. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And I'm doing that because that's gonna help it get really nice and firm so that I can roll them into balls. So while that is chilling, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna work on my coating for the balls. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of the remaining pistachios here, along with the chia seeds. I'm just gonna cut up my pistachios. Just kind of give them a, a rough chop here. And I'm just gonna put them into this bowl here with these chia seeds, just like that. kind of mix all of them together. Okay. Just kind of give it a nice little stir. All right, you guys, so I've taken my oatmeal mixture out of the refrigerator, and now I'm starting to form them, or form it into these little energy balls. See that? So nice and easy. What I like to do is I like to take a measuring, not cup, but this is one tablespoon. And I like to use this because it'll give me the same sized balls, should I say. And you wanna be nice and gentle, just kind of pat it down like this all together. And then you wanna give like a nice little roll to it so that you can create these cute little balls. You can stop here if you want, or 
you can just lightly dust the ball with the leftover chia seeds and pistachios. And that's what I have here. I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust it all. There we go. And there you have it. So one thing that I love about this recipe is you can totally do this in advance, right? I love prepping a lot of my meals because I live such a crazy, hectic, I say it's like a, a good chaos um, or chaotic lifestyle, should I say. And having meals prepped really helps out when you have a busy schedule and you can do just that with this recipe. And you can store this in a airtight container and you can store it in, in your refrigerator for up to a week. Mm. Who knew a wholesome snack can be this delicious? If you guys wanna check out some more honey inspired recipes, make sure you check out my IGTV channel and follow at National Honey Board on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Mm, so good.